Everyone and anyone who develops games strive to make their characters more realistic and human-like. One of the most common ways to make this possible is to use fuzzy logic. Think about a finite state machine, which is anything that has various states, from a character being dead or alive, the difference between night and day, or a light switch being turned on or off. All of these items have only two states, and as you can imagine, this is not always realistic. You can solve this by using fuzzy logic. For example, in this implementation, a character would look at his health first. If his health were lower than 10, he then would look at his ammo, and if that were lower than 5, he would attempt to run away. If his ammo were greater than 5, but less than 20, he'd return cautiously. And if either of those were not met, he would return normal. He then would continue on looking at his health and ammo to determine what action he is required to take. By using something like this, you can make your AI much more believable and realistic. Now instead of just determining to attack or not, they can determine to continue to attack, defend, advance, or run away. A game that uses this very well is Halo 3. For those who have played it or seen someone play it, imagine a grunt, which is the weakest of all the enemies. When you encounter these guys, they will start off by attacking, but after you shoot them a few times, they will stop attacking and run away and hide. But if there are more around, or another enemy that might be of a higher class, they will stick around longer and take more damage before running away. But the instant that those reinforcements are killed, they revert back to their previous routines. To see fuzzy logic in action, let's take a look at a little demo we have put together. Imagine the white arrow as a robber. The green arrow represents your standard police officer, as you see in Grand Theft Auto, for example. And the purple arrow is a sniper. The robber moves about the screen wandering aimlessly, and once he's in range of the police officer, the officer begins his chase. If the robber gets too far away from the officer, he then decides that he is unable to catch him and returns to what he was doing until the robber becomes close enough once more. During this whole demo, you will see that the sniper is watching the robber from a distance and keeping himself pointed in the direction of his target. Once the robber becomes close enough, he too will begin to chase him. Once out of range, the sniper will change from attack to a range offensive. 